Okay guys, so like I said in the last video, there might be a part two to my updates and guess what? There is. So if you haven't yet watched my update um, part one, go ahead and watch that and I will tell you about my part two. So stay tuned. So you might hear some like background, like the girls are playing downstairs screaming and yelling and you might hear a fan but today I went this morning I went with the girls to do my glucose testing they told me on the phone that I could um, come early start my glucose test go upstairs to my appointment and then come back downstairs to finish my my testing I get there and the lady's like, no, like, you can't be going up and down. Like, we need you to just sit here and, like, not move, basically. So I'm like, okay. I didn't come here for nothing. I don't want to go home and have to drive back out here again. So I go upstairs and I tell them what they told me. And so luckily they were really nice and they squeezed me in before I started my glucose testing. And... I was able to do my appointment earlier than expected. So it was really fast. Um, he told me, I asked him some questions about like what if I don't pass this one. So stay tuned. Um, I should get my results back by Thursday, I think. So we'll find out. Um, it might be in this video. So that happens. <laughs> Then I do my glucose testing, I get home, my house is literally a shit show. I'll go ahead and put, after this clip I'll go ahead and the next clip will be what my house currently looks like. Alright. Supervisor comes and he tells me that um, they are going to put me in a displacement, meaning they are putting us in a hotel. You guys, I swear, he says to not, he said so that we don't have high hopes or whatever, or lose hope, whatever it may be, that he tells us, that he's telling us this, but it could be less time. So, we have to be out of the house for two weeks two weeks out of the house I ask him if I can come back and like do laundry because it's downstairs since the upstairs is taped up and he said no because the basement is going to be taped up and blocked off so we are not allowed to be in this house for two weeks possibly he said max two weeks honestly who knows the guy came, he taped off upstairs over here and the downstairs. So you literally, it's like a zipper. You have to zip. Um, he cut into the drywall and they have to do the pipes, put new drywall, paint all the walls. Hopefully they'll put new carpet because it's black stuff all over it. And then they have to do the same thing to the basement. So... There'll be people in and out of this house, and we won't be able to be in this house for a max of two weeks. So that is, like, really annoying. So fun, you guys. Um, so we were hoping tonight that they would put us in a hotel, but I guess, like, the rooms are booked. So we don't get into our hotel room until tomorrow. We packed up our bags. A lot of them. We'll get to go to the hotel tomorrow. So I will do a video on that, like a little clip on that. Hopefully it's nice and they have a little kitchenette. I have some other questions I need to ask this guy. And Duke is coming with us. Me and Sean agreed. We have some friends here and Alana is going to fly home with them next week. And she'll stay with my parents and she'll get to see like her cousins and stuff. So, it kind of worked out this way, I guess, and she won't be miserable in a hotel room or bored. She'll get to, like, have fun with her cousins and family and stuff back home. 
for two weeks while uh, we deal with this stuff. So yeah, just fun stuff here, you guys. So I'll show you guys what the house looks like. I will show you guys the hotel room and everything else that they tell us. I'm hoping leasing will be like, yay, like we got a house for you. I'd rather pack up my entire house and move than live in a hotel. Um, and I'll keep you updated on my glucose testing. If I have gestational diabetes or not. It's okay. Alright, so we are at the hotel. Um, they gave us a hotel. We got here like at 3, 3.30. And we got everything unpacked. And I'm just going to show you the hotel room and then I'll, show, I'll tell you like everything else. Hi. No, no, no. We can't open it. She already wants to like get out. Sean's taking Duke out. Hi. So obviously bathroom. We got Duke's cage, his food here. And then, I mean, obviously it's like self-explanatory. The beds and stuff. And it came with um, a microwave and mini fridge. So... It was probably about um, 5 o'clock or so. We got everything unpacked, situated. It was a lot. So we go out to eat to Old Chicago over here by the hotel. And I get a phone call from housing. They have a home for us, fully furnished kitchen, dryer, washer, four bedrooms, whatever. Um, for us to stay in. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. I literally wanted, I, I just rolled my eyes. I was like a little bit annoyed. Because I was like, you couldn't have told me that earlier. Like, I literally, we got to the hotel, unpacked everything. Like, now I have to repack everything. And we're going to leave tomorrow. That's a little annoying. And I think tomorrow I might get my results, or Friday, I don't know. But I, guys, this week, I honestly cannot wait till I can just freaking relax and just not do anything. This entire week has been stressful and nonstop. Amelia's over here putting her shoes on. What are you doing? I can't see. Um, we did give... I got this thing off online. I saw it on TikTok and we gave it to Sean as an early Father's Day gift because Alana's not going to be here. So we said we're going to give it to him today since today's like probably a more relaxing day than any other day this week, especially like moving forward. Um, so we just gave it to him today and I'll probably like insert like a little clip in here of, of it. I did all this. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Am I most favorite on here? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I to so. oh, wow. Go. Alana. So 
there's going to be a little story time of everything that has happened the past, like, two or three days. All right, so, weird angle over here, but we're going to work with what we got. So, earlier in these clips, I told you that we were at a hotel. Well, then, after they called me and they told me that they have a house for us. So, then we go, and we are, like, so excited. I had high hopes. It was a four-bedroom, two-bath. Um, fully furnished kitchen like everything you know we get there and honestly this house was a shit show it was a piece of shit I did not feel comfortable at all we stayed there for one night and I called the next morning and I told them that I am so uncomfortable the beds the sheets were so gross we had to go back home and like get sheets pillows basically had to pack my entire like fridge like it was honestly like and I'm seven months pregnant like almost eight I can't be doing this packing up like almost half of my house and just hauling everything with me like I said earlier like I would much rather pack up my entire freaking house than have to pack up half of it to move into something small and then like move back like just let me pack everything up move into a new house and settle in and be done with that sheets were nasty the bed was so uncomfortable no one slept good at all that night the bed every time you would like move like I tossed and turned all night every time I would move the backboard would like make noise and beat against the wall honestly like it would I was just so uncomfortable I didn't like it I called them I told them I told them I'd much rather stay at a hotel where I know everything is provided and I don't have to haul as much stuff as I need to so they find a new hotel with a kitchenette I'll show you guys like a little room tour after this and luckily our friends were with us and they helped us pack everything up and like I think we were out of that house in like 30 minutes or less we packed everything up, we put, we packed all three cars up, we drove to the hotel, unpacked everything, and then it was one of our friend's birthday, so we went out to dinner with them, and then they went to their Airbnb, and then we came back to the hotel. But honestly, this whole week, like I mentioned, this whole week has been such a freaking shit show. It's just, it's horrible. Hopefully next week it's going to be a new week. We'll hear back and get some more details on what is going on and how long it'll take so i'm gonna show you guys like a little room tour amelia is sleeping right now so it's gonna be dark in the bedroom but i'll show you guys like the family room a little bit it's we're just gonna deal with it all right i'm just i'm oh, i'm so over it right now walk in and it's got like cute like little kitchenette dishwasher uh, microwave oven stove and like the fridge so it's cool little kitchen table and then it's got the couch with a little desk and TV and then you walk in here you have the bedroom again it's got like a little TV big closet sink and then and there's like the shower in the bathroom so yeah that's like our little mini house tour Sean and Alana are at a motocross race with our friends it's almost 90 degrees out I'm glad I did not buy tickets for me, um, for myself. Amelia would have been free, but I would have been miserable. Amelia probably would have been miserable. They told us that there's no shade. So, honestly, I'm happy I didn't go. I'm just going to relax. Amelia needs to catch up on her sleep. We've been, like, neglecting, like, her naps, and she hasn't been able to, like, sleep in or sleep as long as she wants to. So that's it. Tomorrow we might either stay home or we might meet our friends and go um, sightseeing and then Alana leaves. We're so sad but I'm so happy for her. She's going to have so much fun with family and friends and she'll just have a good, good next couple of weeks at home instead of being stuck in here with us and not being able to do much. So you guys, I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little updates of everything. I have not gotten an update on my glucose. I'm wondering if maybe I passed it. I'm going to call on Monday 
and double check just to make sure that I am okay. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!